Week 13 in fantasy football and playoffs are almost set. For most leagues, I'm guessing a lot of people are starting to get a guarantee, are starting to clinch playoff busts and stuff. I lost two out of three games, so that means in two out of three leagues, there is no possibility of me making the playoffs right now. And it's not completely my fault. I mean, I kind of got blown out in some of them. One of them, my players just completely underperformed. And in another one, I lost to a team that scored like 120 to my 100. So, anyways, it was a very long and trying season. And <coughs> I played. I started playing fantasy football seven years ago. Uh, I played for three years. I took three years off, and this is my first season back. And it's good to know that out of three se three seasons, out of three teams, I have at least one that's still in the hunt. So I'm not the worst that's ever played, at least. I'm, I'm about middle of the pack in every league. And I do get it right sometimes. A few things that I was right on this week. One, Bryce Brown had another huge game against the awful Cowboys defense, even though he did have another fumble, which proved very costly. Uh, Andrew Luck and Cam Newton are the only players who had more points than Bryce Brown this week. And Calvin Johnson has always had plenty of catches and yards, but he's finally started at cat finding the end zone again. A lot of it, though, you know, season-ending injuries to Nate Burleson and now to Ryan Boyles, plus Titus Young being inactive. I mean, you know, Stafford really has no other choice but to keep throwing to Johnson right now. So, and uh, Sidney Rice, T.Y. Hilton, Golden Tate, Mike Williams, and Cecil Shorts, all of these are players who I've mentioned as sleepers at different points in the season. All five of them scored double digits this week. Uh, Adrian Peterson continues his remarkable season. He had over 200 yards in the game. And uh, Torrey Smith and Jeremy Macklin were both comparatively useless. Uh, they did really nothing. And Cincinnati had another big game against San Diego, making it four straight games with at least 12 points. They, they got a tougher matchup next week, but still, I, I was right for you to go pick, tell them, go pick them up if you didn't already. If you didn't. Well, that's not really on me. Anyways, one thing I was wrong is about is Houston's defense. They earned more points this week than any other team. However, they were up against the Tennessee Titans, who have Chris Johnson, who many people consider to be the most disappointing running back in fantasy this season. He could potentially find himself getting replaced next year if he doesn't start showing up again. And as far as injuries go, I want to actually talk about people coming back from injury. DeMarco Murray returned from injuries and made an instant impact just in time for fantasy playoffs. I mean, he is definitely worth keeping around. Uh, Greg Jennings also returned, but only had a few catches and a low yardage total. But once he gets back into the swing of things, he will be considered a must start. Darren McFadden ended up not being inactive, uh, but he's on track to return soon. I'm not sure about his status for the Thursday game yet. Ryan Boyles has been lost for the season with a torn ACL. Titus Young might not be activated again this season because he just can't get his shit straight. And obviously, Megatron will still be seeing plenty of targets. Uh, Mike Thomas has some uh, sleeper potential as now as the second receiver on the depth chart. You know, let's see what he can do. And I just want to give my sincerest condolences to both Drew Brees and Matt Ryan. They had horrible days, and Aaron Rodgers didn't really have the bounce back performance that I expected. I still consider all three of them must starts, though. And A.J. Green had his second worst performance of the season, but he's still the best receiver in fantasy and is going to make, remain a must start despite next week's matchup. And speaking of next week, uh, <clears throat> yeah, you know, I'm, I decided I'm going to see this through to the end of the season even if I don't make playoffs in any of my teams. And so tune in next week for Reflections from Week 14. Tune in Sunday for when I tell you different players who should and shouldn't perform well on that, that this week <clears throat> but more than anything else tune in just a few minutes from now I'm gonna upload another video where I talk about different rewards that I'm gonna be giving out this season uh, not in fantasy football just like in football in general but I just stay tuned in anyways you, you might want to hear it I, I mean I want your input if you're willing to give it